What's good, everyone? It's me, Yolo here, and today we're going to be checking out the finals for the Great North V-Box Battle 2024. The first battle we have is a small final, but it's still going to be a really crazy one. We have ZVD from the United States versus Biscuit from the United States, a uh, United States clash for the third place. And the final, we have Pac Max from France versus Black Wolf from Italy. I'm super excited for these battles, and I mean, without further ado, let's just get it going. Starting with the third place battle, ZVD versus Biscuit. Let's get it going. Does chose ZVD to go first, back and forth, two Zed rounds. Let's day. get this going. I say the three, y'all say the two and the one. Crowd in three. Two, one, three, one. Ah. It's upgraded. I don't even think I got a limit when I show up going straight to the finish straight to the I don't even think I got a limit when I show up going right to the finish listen Okay, okay. Solid, solid. I don't even think I got a limit. When I show up, going right to the finish. Right to the... That sounds loud. Jeez. Chop, chop it up like hey, hey. Switch. Okay, yeah, solid round, solid round. There are things that I just simply can't control. All I ask is you have mercy on my soul. <laughs> There are things that I put you simply pick a joyful. All I ask is you have mercy on my soul. Have mercy. Uh, I love the snare toys. AI. Oh my goodness, that was good. This kid got that so far. You know that, you know that. Oh, shit. Yeah. Yeah. That's cool, though. Yeah. Bro, you ain't got it. You lacking. I'm in the spot going full, full automatic. automatic. I'm in the spot going full automatic. <laughs> Holy shit, that's so good. I love when he goes out a little high. Shy town. Yeah, yeah. You ain't got it, you lacking. Oh. 
I'm, I'm in the spot, spot going for. Yeah. I need you to be in my hands now. You just fall. That's cool, that's cool. Yeah, that was that was that was a stupid good what is it small file that was really good but yeah let's break it down their first rounds were really really cool they both brought some like really really sick shit but what is it i think i'm gonna have to give it for biscuit for the first round zvd had some cool ideas and i'm familiar with that routine it was more upgraded and i just feel like the drops are a little bit lackluster i mean just like what is it just like a simple lip roll. But I mean, yeah, it was a solid round. But I just felt like Biscuit brought way, way more. He had some cool, cool shit. And then the second round, I could see it being very debatable. Because what is it? I feel like both their like endings are a little bit... It was a little bit mad at the end. Like, just mistakes here and there. But what is it? I am a sucker for this routine from ZVD. Just because I love that like low part where it goes from low to high. It's just a really cool routine. And you can even see the whole crowd jump into it. Like, it was, it was good. You didn't have to tell them just the whole... Place was going crazy, but Biscuit again had some crazy moments with his little throat whistle, and then he, you know, just doing like the da 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 da, then just a crazy sucker punch B. But yeah, oh my goodness, I would say overall it's a Biscuit Biscuit win. Uh, ZVD had some cool moments, but I feel like Biscuit really, like, really, really pushed in that last round. So yeah, again, crazy, crazy small final. Like that was so. A really, really good battle. So let's check out the winner's ceremony. I say the three. Y'all say the two and the one crowd in three. Two, one, <laughs> Bro, Biscuit was flabbergasted. He said, me? Me? But yeah, yeah, Biscuit taking third place for, you know, Great North is incredible. I mean, him showing everyone that he can still, you know, he's still a solo beast, even though he's a, you know, a looper, he still can smash it on solo, especially with like a competition of this caliber and him coming in and getting third place is just, yeah, yeah. I mean, I expect it. Biscuit is such a crazy beatboxer. And then we had ZVD, of course, getting fourth place again crazy like always and i feel like he's just on the cusp of like you know winning these major battles i feel like you know he's still what is it i still he still has like a lot that he can show and i mean i mean he's going crazy still like he still has crazy routines but you know i feel like even in the future we can see this guy getting you know this first place you know and even in florida you know this guy got what top four which is really 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 insane and then now in another crazy you know like really packed GBB qualifier, he gets fourth place again. And yeah, you gotta respect the consistency. So yeah, shout out both of these guys. Next, we have the final. We have Pac Max versus Black Roll. I find it funny. This is Great North. And it's like, when I think of Great North, I think of like, you know, the Americas, like North and South. But I find it funny how we have two like European Donnies in the in the final. So I mean, yeah, that's just really, really cool. So let's just get it going. Pac Max versus Black Roll. I mean, they're familiar. They battled each other before. So we got the rematch. I think maybe the third rematch or second rematch. I don't know, but let's let's get it. 24 coming at you live and direct from the rec row. We have Pac Max versus Black Roll. Black Roll won the coin toss. He chose my good friend Pac Max to go first. 
You already know what to do with all the energy you have. I say the twa, you say the do and the uh. Let's get it in twa. Approach from Black Wolf. Comfort zone unlocked. I'm not gonna switch it. I wanna talk about the round so far. Um, both of them going for like a bo uh, musical approach, which I think is good because I feel like, especially in this final like that, they're gonna bring as much variety as much an advantage as they can. So you know, obviously the ver the variety is gonna be you know some like points there. But I do wanna say, I'm not sure if I saw a round in this competition because I feel like, especially with a final, you of course you really need context. I'm not sure if we've seen... I mean, we might have seen, like, one musical approach from Pac Max. I don't remember, unfortunately. But, what is it? This was a really good round. And I feel like these rounds are very similar. You know, both of them are doing going, like, I guess musical, but still flexing their sounds and whatnot. And then, at the end, they're bringing some, like, heavy, heavy heaviness. So, like, for Pac Max, it was that lip roll. He was doing that whole, like, last part of the round. And then Pac Max, it was, like, this little... It's not, a like, a sucker punch, but it's, like, a... I, I don't know what it is, but yeah, I did like that. So, I mean, overall, I think I would give it to Pac Max for the first round. It's not by a lot, it's by just a little, little bit, but I think I might have just preferred him a little bit better. But I do like Pac Max, or what is it, Black Rose Moments. His execution was really nice. I love when he was showing like that sound. He was moving from side to side. I mean, it's like little minute like things like that that gets, you know, that gets me like, what is it? More points for them, you know, in my book. But I mean, yeah, it's it's really close. I would say Pac-Man's by a little bit. So I mean, just trying to get like every like uh, intricacy, because I mean, obviously this is a final. So and especially with this, you know, big class battle, I gotta you know talk about some stuff here and there. So yeah, let's check out their second rounds. Yeah, yeah, don't worry, chillax, chillax, bro. You don't need to push yourself so hard. You don't need this. <laughs> That's funny. Ah. 
Are you ready? is Canadian so actually we shouldn't be here Ooh. is that PJs <laughs> what yo <laughs> what is black Roll doing Holy shit, a sleeping mask. <laughs> Wake me up when the showcase is finished. Switch! Sorry guys, I uh, tried to sleep against Black Master. It's too easy, bro. Sorry. It's me against the clown. <laughs> Better gadgets than the round. Ah. Get kick out. Follow me now. Kicked out. Ugh. You play with a brand. You play with a cube. I suggest you something new. Is that fruit? <laughs> well, you got a banana. <laughs> what? It's me against the clown. You can play with this now. What? Is that a cock? Wait, what? <laughs> I'm so so lost okay what just happened that round it's not even like the minute it's not even a minute 30 the last minute of that round there is so much to dissect I'm so lost okay we're gonna go back a minute and rewatch that because I'm not gonna lie I have no idea what's happening um there was so much okay I'm I'm gonna talk over it a little bit but yeah, let's go back. I'm kind of... Okay. You play with a brand. Yeah. You play with a cube. Yeah. I suggest you something new. Okay. It's me against the clown. You can play with this now. What the shit? Okay. Oh. And then with the cube. Blindfolded. Completes it. Bakumax out, bitch. Let's go, GMA! Let's go! Let's wow. Okay. Okay. Um, break it down real quick. That last round was insane. So, okay. We have what I think is, uh, I, and I know I'm familiar with Black Rule's uh, routines. Um, that is something I've heard before. It's like an upgraded version, which, yeah. But we have something more personalized for Pac Max, which, again, is, I mean, I feel like it's it was smart for Black Rule. And, I mean, I guess, you know, obviously he, um, 
what is it, prepared to fight or go against Pac Max at some form of the competition. So, what is it? I like how he had all these, like, you know, lyrics and, like, what is it, these little gadgets, like, for Pac Max. Because, what is it, going to this competition, I can see Pac Max being the top contender for this competition in general. And Black Roll having this round specifically for him was perfect. I mean, I mean, yeah, <laughs> it was great. So, yeah, again, an incredible round, but I like the little, the he plays with the pen because, you know, we see Pac-Max doing this, like, little, like, nose thing where, like, he, like, magic trick with the nose and the pen or whatever, right? We see he plays with the cube or, like, sometimes Pac-Max will use, like, a Rubik's Cube and then he pulls out a banana, he unsheeds it, and it's, it's a meat, it's a, it's a cock. Um, that's, yeah. That's funny. That's really funny, especially in a final like this. Like, that's unreal. And then he just throws into the crowd and then shows this incredible drop. But, yeah, that was a really cool moment. But then we had this really cool moment where Pac-Max is doing the Rubik's Cube blindfolded. And then he shows the cube. He completes it right before Black Rose drop. And it's supposed to be, I guess, the climax of, you know, Black Rose routine. You know, him going all in. And you can hear it. But I feel like the crowd was cheering for Pac-Max Rubik's Cube. Then Black Rose drop. So, I mean, yeah, that was that was really, really funny. But, <laughs> oh my goodness. If we talk about those second rounds. And I'm going to talk about the battle in general. I feel like beatbox-wise, Pac-Max took it for me personally. But... Because of Black Roll having all this changing clothes and the gadgets and the tell me what is it the when the show wake me up when the showcase is over and he had like the little like eye cover when you sleep what else all these like personalized routine and all that stuff for Pac Max itself I have to respect that okay so again I say it was a little bit for Pac Max for the first round but that second round I mean even though uh, and especially that like unchanging part I'm gonna go back a little bit Pac Max's first round. I honestly was not even, I don't think I was even bopping my head to Pac-Max. What is it? I was so focused on whatever Black Roll was doing that it took away all the attention from Pac-Max's round to Black Roll. And now I'm just watching like, what is he doing? Because what? He starts taking off his clothes, starts pulling out this little eye thing. I think he had a pillow. I think he was planning to go and sleep on stage, but then the timer went up. And then Miso was like, hey, dude, dude, dude the round. But yeah, I like that whole thing that Black Roll did. I literally like couldn't care less what Pac Max was doing because I was so focused on whatever Black Roll was doing. So again, that took all the attention away from Pac Max and to Black Roll. But that second round, we had a, like a personalized routine, and then what? It was a crazy round with the banana, and then he, like it was a meat, whatever. That was incredible. But then you know Pac Max counters him by doing showing him the cube before. You know, his drop and everyone went crazy for that. So what is it? I would say that Black Rose moments were more significant than Pac Max's. And I would say beatbox wise, I did like Pac Max a little bit more than Black Roll. But again, I literally was like so unfocused on whatever Pac Max was doing. So I think overall, I think I would give this to Black Roll. Like that was a really crazy final. So yeah, let's just check out the judges' results for this. Pac Max representing France will be Black Roll representing Italy. The winner going home, the Great North Champion 2024. Going home $1,000 richer. Going home Damn, with a brand a new MK2 RC505 brought to you by Roland and Boss with the custom carry case, as well as their ability to go and compete in the Grand Beatbox Battle yes. in Japan. Crowd, are you ready to find out? Yeah. I say the three. Y'all say the two and the one for the last time here tonight. Your Great North Solo Beatbox Champion 2024 Crowd in three, two, two one. one. Black Roll. I'm going to give you a second. I want to give you this here, and I want you to put it over your head and uh, wow. get the response that you deserve. Make some noise for your Great North Champion 2024. Now, as he catches his breath, I want to give you the opportunity to go and talk and tell me what it means to you for you winning this, winning your ticket to GVB and taking this home. And you told me beforehand, I know I saw you at the Europeans, you came in second, man, and I've seen you all over the place just crushing it. I'm so proud of you. What does it feel like right now? Tell us what's going through your head, my friend. 
First of all, make some noise, GMB. Make some noise, GMB. Make some noise. Yeah. Wow. Now for me, it's insane. Like I, I train three months every day for this title. It's one year that I start training seriously. So after a lot of training, uh, it's, it's really insane, guys. Really, this means a lot for me. I want to say big up against to Pac-Max because the guy who still pushed me to train and prepare yeah. stupid stuff, like. Guys, yeah, I want, <laughs> I want to, I want to say thank you to all of you to be there. Thank you to Scott, thank you to River, Amit, uh, 2H, everyone who's involved in this event. Thank you so much, guys. It's been a pleasure to be there. And see you in GBB. Yeah. Yeah, good battle. Um, let's talk about the event in general. This event was insane. Like, wow. All the competitors who competed that made this battle what it was was just, it was crazy. Even, like, the lineup before I saw this competition, it's like, dude, what the shit? It's, it was packed. It was a packed competition. So, I mean, shout out to Black Roll for, you know, making it all the way. I mean, he he deserved it. And especially, what is it? But the majority of these guys, you know, were coming from, like, you know, United States, South America. And... Again, I don't know the time for, for example, like the other flights, but you know, to have like Pac Max and like Black Road come all the way from Europe for this competition, like again, it's like flying overseas for this competition is just incredible. And for Black Roll, you know, taking that, it's again, it's it's incredible. And now we will see him on the GBB stage. It's gonna be incredible to see. And then what is it? I know Pac Max, second place, again, really, really good as well. I mean, he's proving how incredible he is competing all around the world. You know, that's the vice world champion. But what is it? I'm excited to see these guys, what they got in GBB. I think that's the next time we'll see them. Uh, Pac Max, I feel like he's a top contender for the solo ca category. And I also think, I'm, I'm, I'm just throwing it out there. I feel like he'll win the, 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 the tag team category as well. But I mean, we're talking solos. I feel like ta Pac Max will dominate the solo category. And I feel like Black Roll will also, you know, have some crazy moments. So I'm excited to see what these guys bring. Not, uh, not in like in GBB and all the competitors in general. Like I can't wait to see what they bring in the future. So I mean, I'm excited for these guys. It's it was a crazy, crazy battle this year, and I can't wait to see what Great North brings next year. So yeah, I mean, crazy stuff. Shout out everyone. This was this was an incredible competition to check out, and it wasn't like it, it's hard to judge with all these guys. So yeah, craziness. You guys already know I'm Yolo, and I'll see you guys out next time. Peace.